grab your drinks, guys. It is time to put the world away. Welcome to my Kelty Heart save, where it is already January. January. The January transfer window has just finished up, I was trying to say. But we are in year 2031. Let's go with the outs. We had Carlos Cantera, youngster. He's trying to develop more. I think he had a little bit more growth, but he wanted to leave. Going back to another Liverpool that's in Uruguay, first division for... Hey, 92,000. I think we signed him on a free, so we made a little bit of money. That's true. Um, Jonathan Stewart he had a handful of games with us. Going to Livingston for 24,000. Uh, Tom Weston to Bolton, four and a half. Young goalkeeper here to Sunderland for only 3,000. Wish him the best. He's 23. Just don't see him ever making our squad. Uh, Reese Jones was actually a signee here, but... Uh, for us to sign him, Hyde's like, can, you, can we please loan him back, though? We need him. It's like, yeah, why not? Go ahead, but show you guys really quick. Only 19. Wells got an under-21's cap already. He got some decent mentals for only 19. He has some room for growth, and I'll show you guys here on the ends. Here's our big losses this year. Some of our big starters that have been some of our key players over the last couple of years. Matt Murphy, $1.7 to Crystal Palace. I wish him the best. I mean... 24-year-old Northern Irish Irish player, 36 caps, already five goals for them. Great player for us. I wanted to sign him, but he didn't want to sign with, didn't want to sign back because Crystal Palace came in for him. What is he making? As you can see, he had some great, his good years for us. It's cons consistent. Right around seven there. What is he making? Yeah, 38 and a half thousand. We couldn't afford. We couldn't afford that, so I wish him the best. Matt Murphy is gone. And then Vuick, a great service here with Kelty Hearts. Look at that. How many years? Great 14, 50. These were his big years at 27 to 29 there. And uh, was he started because now that back Chia was developing more. He Vuick's became more of a third stringer. But hey, went back to his, uh, his country, or he actually started in Ireland so he never played so it's, he's back home though because that's what he is right he's Croatian yep so he's playing home so I'm sure he's happy there he's already got a goal so I wish him the best Buick and then uh, a youngster um, just didn't see it with maybe maybe he can develop but he's gone I decided done from line 25,000 can go up to 53 so now the end since we lost a good uh, playmaker and a striker. That's what I definitely was looking at. And the big signee we had was, look at this, we got a J-Lo. As you all know, if you've been following this series, right, we had a J-High the first year. And what a, a beast he was there. Look at that, Thir 29 goals that one year, 37 goals in all competition this one year. So we got now, oops, we got now, a J Lo. <laughs> 700000 spent on him. Striker, Colombian, 22 year old. Here's his full name Jorge Luis Oviedo. Oviedo. J Lo, to keep it simple. So, looks really good. Paying him just under 10000 per week, and hopefully he fills in there. I think he will be a deep flying forward. It says complete. I, he's either footed, which is good. Just his pace is, I think, a little bit too low here for. Uh, for the quality that I need. I, so I'll, we'll see. I'm going to try my deep playing forward. Might switch him off a couple games. We'll see if he does advance forward. But that pace, you really need that burst of speed, I think, for an advance forward. Um, if any, just change his name. <laughs> his, uh, it was, uh, if any, to me, <laughs> if the An Anye, maybe. Uh, if any, from Everton. 240,000, got some growth there. Defender, I tried to actually loan him out. No one wanted him, so um, I might need the bodies. I have to look at my squad size here again, and I might put him in for the first team, but it's a little bit too low, I think, for the quality that we need, but might fit in against, might sneak him in there and he gets a, a weaker opposition side. Um, a loner, Man United, so that's two guys we have, an, uh, right? For Man United, I think loan on our squad anyway this is Wayne Hume a striker so yeah I went striker crazy here 
Um, deep, another like a deep lying forward. 14 passing, not bad. It's a little bit more pacey, so I'll probably get him advance four, but just that dribbling at first and that finishing. Um, wanted at least another striker because Vuick, one of our best strikers left. Um, Hyde, you guys, I seen, I showed you guys him. He's out loaned out, but not bad for only three, three point six thousand. I mean, it has, I mean, according to my scouts, look at this. I mean, he's four and a half star potential. So hopefully he can develop. Eh, the only thing bad about him, I don't, I usually don't sign players that have a natural fitness this low of five. It's, it's how well, as you can read here, it's how well a player stays fit. So, I don't like that attribute that low. But, took a gamble for only that little money. Uh, a striker I couldn't pass up on either, only for 36000 He was on my radar on my short list. 23. Um, but he's got a little bit more potential to grow, and he's probably going to be my third... Fourth stringer. He got some good physicals. Off the ball is a little bit low, I think, for for our squad size now, our reputation. But he'll get a handful of games. And then another loner, Martin Cortas from Balagna. <laughs> uh, Cro another a Croatian. So we've had some Cro a Croatian has left. Another one come in. Vuic was Croatian. I've had some good luck with Croatian. So hey. I needed a playmaker. Murphy's gone with a 17 passing and a 16 vision technique, first touch, flair, all these key attributes that need to be for a playmaker. He's got them, so why not bring him in? Fan for Bologna. Has he been out of the country? Yeah, he's been to Italy. And um, Can he speak English? No. That's the problem probably with the other guy, too. Uh, Colombian only Spanish all right so that's the transfers that's actually a little bit that's probably my busiest January transfer ever um, let's go finances here just under 8 million um, I've asked the board for a few things but they've denied me I did ask for a January or a transfer revenue more to be available so they, they did agree 90% but so there's that. Um, I asked for like junior coaching and youth recruitment. And it's like, they're like, nope, nope. I'm like really with all everything that I've done for you guys. Um, dynamics here. Okay. It's, I just looked at it here a couple days ago. It wasn't so hot. And I'll show you guys why here in a second. Here's my squad, the squad depth. I'm still with this formation, but I have some new backups. Still, the wingers are my the lowest point. Um, here's my tactics. So I still have the you know the five two one two. But if you look at the future, you guys kind of see what I'm eyeballing. There's the four four two. I, I like going back to this. If everything's going crazy and haywire, we need to get back to the basics. I kind of like to start with this. I might change it, but I think this is a good one always to come back to. If if you don't know where you want to be. Um, and then this third one, I'm tr gonna try to go back to this four-two-three-one. That's worked for me in the past, football managers, and uh, I I really like this formation. Um, so I'm still trying to play with this. I like inside forwards. Um, I can kind of flirt inside forwards and move these guys around I like wingers that are both footed, so I can move them around and I can change them if I want to be a winger or an inside forward. I do like that. Um, so. Messing with that still, maybe next year, but currently right now, 4 2 one, two with the wing backs, and um, right, the familiarity is just about there, just the position and role. Um, and that's it. Um, oh no, I gotta show you what's been going on. Not so good. I'll say two words, three words, goals, four words. <laughs> Goals have dried up. That's for so the last time I showed you guys was right. We won this Euro Cup two group A, and then I showed you guys the Livingston win. Great. Livingston's on the bottom of the table. We better have won them. But we've had, let's count one, two, three to finish off December. Three, four, five, six, seven total league matches I've had off camera. And ready? Hold on, guys. This is a big count. Let's count how many goals I've scored. 
since I've since you guys seen me last. Oh, one, two in the league. Two goals out of seven matches. That's not going to win very many. And as you can see, we've only won one match. Ta da! So I don't know if uh, the guys that left, Buick and, and Murphy that left, maybe they were the everybody's beer drinking buddy and the dynamics have, has fallen off. They have fallen off a little bit here, but still, club atmosphere is good. Team cohesion, very good. Hierarchy still looking okay. Um, but somehow the chemistry is off. Maybe those two new players, they don't speak any English. That's That could be a little issue. But I mean, we couldn't even beat Ross County, and they're sitting here on the bottom of the championship. It took us extra time, as you can see, extra time. And the new guy, actually, Wayne Hume, the, from the loner from Man United, actually scored uh, on the 102nd minute. And Dre had a penalty, uh, 105th, and then the 110th, he had a, a goal. So, goodness. And they, they were they were substitutes coming in. So, and it was... Goals have, dri <laughs> have dried up. Um, well, let's just go real quick. Done from line, nil-nil. So, hey, good defense. Another clean sheet here, Hamilton. We got the one goal, Dre, right before halftime. So, all right. Not bad for December. Start of the new year. Got smashed here by Rangers. They're, they didn't like the last time we played them because I think yeah, we beat them last time at their home. So, they took revenge and just... We were all over the place. I mean, we gave up. We were bad passing, everything. All right, another home match. Let's get a win. Bounce back against Aberdeen at home. Nothing. Nothing. All right, so we'll go away to um, Hibs. Not, not, where, nothing. Clean sheet. Clean sheet. <laughs> Steve Max is doing good. Where are the goals? I think I had a team meeting here after this. No, I had the team meeting after Celtic. Yeah, because Rangers beat us. Yeah, we've been doing pretty... You know, they still got us big time. Over 12 out of 22, they beat 12. Is it Celtic that I I beat last time as well? Celtic, the past meeting. I think we actually... Yeah, we beat them away 2 nothing. So they got revenge on us. This time, I had a better record against them, huh? Than Rangers. So, anyway, we didn't we didn't look up for that either. Edorp had the one goal. So there's a bright news, right? We got a goal, <laughs> got a goal. And then we, I just showed you guys the Ross County. So there's the update, the transfers, and the update of all this. With all that said, with this terrible form here in January, we're still sitting fourth, 39 points. Today we gotta play who? We gotta play Aberdeen, right? Yeah, so they're sitting right below us. So this is a big match. Uh, we gotta keep putting pressure on them. Man, this Celtics 53 points. You got Rangers 51. Um, they're set both on 24. We dropped off. This guy's just tearing it up, man. This Luka Jovic guy for uh Celtic, 21 goals. Next guy got 12. We have nobody. Oh, Steve Max with the clean sheets. It's kind of rare to not see any of our guys in there. Not liking that. Well, let's get to this match. Let's start February off. This is the Hearts month, right? February? Let's go. Aberdeen. Away. This is the team I'm going to go with. <laughs> I think I've decided. Got a bunch of new guys still trying to work on their sharpness. Man, I have him available for the under 18s too. And this goalkeeper just cannot get match fit. Um, icebergs off. Um, I can show you really quick who's doing good. Um, let's see, average rating wise. Duncan Kerr, of course. Dio, he's been out on international duty break for like, seems like two months. <laughs> it's good. I mean, good for him, but it's just what we need him back. Um, Especially, we needed him here. We gave up three goals. And the Rangers, who gave up three goals. But to be fair, 
right? Clean sheets. We're not doing bad defensively. Just Duncan Kerr and my strikers took a little a little time off here. All right, let's get up. Let's get on here. Let's go. Um, I don't want to put. Hmm, I'm putting Bakchi up there. A uh, Kerr, Bakchi on the bench. What I'm trying to say. It's a, it's a gam. It's. Yeah, he'll he'll sit all he'll sit out. Zaza, I had him loan listed. Nobody came in for him. I'm thinking about selling him, but I was like, nah, he's still young and can develop a little bit. Iceberg. Salmons, I do like salmons. Pistrello's just coming back. All right, I think I got it settled. All right, Steve Max, guys, going in the goal. We got Prost out here. Argentinian. Got Gerard. I'm, I like him, the six foot six so far. Uh, uh, ball playing. Uh, I've been kind of mixing him as the middle. Uh, Gerard is a ball winning, but I'll, I've been playing him here more this year. Ball playing defender. We've got Romani here. Um, Laconi, do I? Hmm. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. O'Neal on the right. Show you guys their attributes here. Uh, Circan. Circus, we should call him Circus Circan. Um, Ramos. They don't have the best chemistry here, him and Claxton somehow. Got Claxton. I think he wants to play. See the promises. Okay, most of them, I'm, I'm, most of them are pleased. They all want, as you can see, fair increase in playing time. This guy wants to get registered for the Euro Cup 2s, but it might happen. It might not. Um, yeah, so keep an eye on the promises. If you don't want gripey people, if you can try to fulfill them. Uh, O'Neill, we got Cirque, we got Ramos, Claxton. I had, I was looking at I was trying to look at that because I think um, the loaning where's where'd it go? Up on a hole. It's not here anymore. So I must he must have been happy now. So that means I'll change him back. Because it seems like I had him on a deep length playmaker for a long time. Cause the um Man United is like, hey, that's what we agreed on. Why, why aren't you playing as deep line playmaker? I'm like, dude, he's playing every game. So I like that central midfielder automatic. And then I got Edorp here. He's kind of cooled down, but again, everybody's cooled down. And it's a toss-up right now. J-Lo or Bakchia. And I got Kerr. And just to get back to the, try to get back to the winning ways. I mean, I should put Bakchia because they got that three person here chemistry and I think I just talked myself out of it I'm gonna put back Chia in there and uh, J-Lo just kind of sneak him in there subbing 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 uh, let's see you got a playmaker got a wing back attacking midfielder wing defender and a striker let's do it I think any bit more I'll want to change it. A squad number. He wants 10. 10 not available, buddy. Well, you got six. There you go. Yep. So we're sitting. You know, my aim this year was to try to get third. I can't remember what the, what did the board want, guys? Now I got to look. Uh, I got to click on this player. Let's see what the board wanted this year from me. I already forgot. Um, where are we at? Scottish Cup. Where's the league? So right here. Qualify for the Euro Cup. Okay, so and that's, well, the top three teams now get champions, so I gotta get at least fourth or fifth. Or even Snokes. Fourth or fifth, I think six is Euro Cup two. 
fifth and sixth is Euro Cup too. I know there's six six qualification spots for cups for us now. I want third. Got third last year. I want at least third. I'll be happy. Let's go. Let's get some goals. We're on video now. I'm going to try to impress you guys with all the goals, but I said goals have dried up here with the hearts. Empty hearts. Let's go. Work it out from the back. Oh, a lot of that stuff going on, like first touch and stuff. Just stuff that I haven't seen before that's going on. It's like mistakes that I haven't noticed before. Let's go. Not no 10 minutes in and nobody's had oh they got their first shot. This is a battle here between fourth. Gotta put that pressure. Hearts getting up they're getting five points ahead of us. And I can't count that high. Rangers and Celtic up there. I'm trying to put put some pressure. I thought we'd put some pressure on them this year. Still, still a couple years away. Look at that! Nice, Bakchia finds it, and he he. Oh, it just looked like it was a casual, and the goalkeeper he looked like he was ready there. It's like, oh, he's not gonna make it. It's not very hit very hard, but sure enough, it went in. Kerr, look at that. He knew where Buck just is. That's that power of that chemistry. Yeah, okay, just look from the other angle. Not not as with authority, but great strike. Cross body. Great pass. So, And here they go. They got their corner. Whoa, a low. That was a low one. Buck Chia, can you get to it? Kind of gave up there at the end. Looked like you, you would have been close. Oh, there you go. There's there there's nice through ball, but he was off the mark to the right. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta keep that pressure up on hearts. This is this is a must win. We need this. Gotta go on a good run. Oh, right before halftime. <laughs> there's the highlight. Claxton, Ramos. Just kinda dancing around there. Pros back to Ramos. Back. They're playing one twos. Give it to Edorp. Oh, okay. Okay. I have it work out of the work. No, I don't think I do. Right? What's my struggle? Look at that. Deep cross. The the curve. Kerr couldn't find the back of the net. Um, I'm happy with it. I think we could even do better. Let's go, because we're only got three shots, so they're eight. We're not being creative, huh? Look at Edorp, a 6.4. What do I have? I, I think I changed it back to the support rule here. Um, He's pleased, huh? Wow, Dre's pleased. Maybe it's just not Edorp's day. We're going to put Dre in there, and he... 10 finishing... Flare. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it on attack. 57 minutes, a little bit early for my for two. Let's go. What do they tell me? More direct passing. We're gonna we're gonna stay there. They're telling me to play out of defense, huh? I know I don't have that. Distribute the center backs. I do. I do have it on. Guys, I, how many years have I had that on? <laughs> I can't remember what my instructions are. If I do tweak it, it's usually just one or two. And then um, after this, we're going to do a, a sub. We can, hey, and it's Prost, his first goal of the year. Let's do the sub really quick before I forget. Neil's got the yellow, huh? We'll put TV. It's TV time. Let's go, TV. Show me something. Uh, make me proud out there. Um, I'm still like, I'm, I'm, I really want to get to that four, two, three, one, I think tactic and, and do like the wingers rotate wingers and inside forwards. I mean, I mean, you can, then you can have the argument, man, I've, I've been doing good with this formation, right? I mean, even, even though the wingers are 
it's been hard to find some good <laughs> good wingers for me. Um, J Lo is pleased. Like to get him some time up top, maybe. Seventy uh, third minute. Ramos is beat. Midfielder. Um, let's put let's put the uh, the baloney guy in there. I know it's not baloney. It's what? How do you say this? He's from Bologna. Bologna. He's a playmaker. Um. Yeah, let's see if he can play make. We'll put him on. Um, yeah, we'll put him a band's playmaker here. Claxton. He's got two playmakers, though. What, Dre? He's got a better tackling. He's got a, he's got a worse tackling. Uh, I'm actually going to cancel that. Yeah, we're going to cancel that and hold off on that last one. Ramos is beat. Let's see what happens here. Oh, the diving goal goalkeeper. Uh, Ramos is beat and Claxton. All right, we'll put him in there now. Okay, let's put the let's put the new guy in there. Let's just see central midfielder. Yeah, just just don't tackle, buddy. Put him in the central midfielder automatic. He should automatically know that he doesn't know how to tackle. Prost. Romani. Okay. We're looking good. Looking good. Up the cur. Nope. Yeah. So, uh, strikers, we should have, a, we have enough of them now, I think. Four or five. Well, to be fair, what one's on loan. Um, still looking for. Let's finish off this year, right? One thing at a time. Got to finish off this year strong. Goals to get at least third. Um, we got the uh, the knockout. What? When is that? I looked at. I can look at the schedule again. What? When is that draw? The draw for the uh, the knockout. I think it was the end of February. So the next episode, uh, I put all three subs in. Yep, I sure did. And hey, we got another clean sheet. But we actually, the more important thing is we got two goals. And they actually had more shots, one more on target, and a better XG. But look at that. 7.9 draw pros with, the, with that header, right? 8.5. So hey, hey, hey. Well done, guys. Turn that around. Oh, we just had the little hiccup there with no goals. We forgot to forgot to how it felt to get a goal there for a few games. So let's see. I got Dunfermline line next. I'm gonna call it the episode here, guys. I'm just gonna look at the schedule real quick and get a reminder of the um the Euros, the draw date for that. Let's get to the schedule. Um let me just click on this um, schedule. It's February. Squad registration. There's the first knockout right here. Okay, second knockout, the round draw. 28th of February. So what's the our match that's close to that? I can show you guys. Yeah, I'll just show. I'll come back. It'll be a pretty quick one. Then we'll show you Livingston again. You guys already saw the Livingston one. We'll have the draw date. I'll come back the twenty eighth, and then we'll play Falkirk. They're sitting eighth. Okay. Um, so the draw, and then we'll have playing Falkirk away. Hopefully, we can get we can get back get by Hibs here on the the fifth round. Be nice to get far on the Scottish Cup. Wish me luck. Got one, two, three. So just three matches in the league off video. And uh, oh, we don't. Yeah. So the draw date, then it'll be right away, huh? Scratch that idea. <laughs> I'll come back for the draw. I don't know. For some reason I like showing the draw on the video. And then we'll just probably just play them. Just have that one match. Whatever. 
whatever things will change thank you guys for watching wish me luck what do you think about my transfers here um like i said i went uh striker heavy here j-lo i'm counting on big things from him and uh we do have this loner here um that's that's my big maybe he can develop but the big acquisition was j-lo 22 year old Colombian. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, keep moving forward.